welcome back to the art of crochet blog and this is square 92 and it's a single color square and it's all with turquoise and i've started off already i've got a chain of six sealed with into a ring with a slip stitch and then we're going to do three chain and two treble one two three and two treble right into that ring And then we've got a gap of two chain before the next uh, three trebles. So uh, we're going to do that um, four times. Well, I mean, until there are four of them, because you've already done it twice now. Uh, so two more times. So three trebles, two chain. So for the second round, we're going to do uh, uh, two treble in this corner space, that is three chain uh, for one of them, and then a treble. And then we're going to do one treble in the next stitch, and then a chain uh, gap. So I think uh, there are three stitches here, one, two, and then one that's partially obscured there. So um, I'm going to do my first treble into this um, corner bit here and then one chain and then miss this uh, one in the middle here and go into the next one for another treble. And then, um, so that's only two stitches and then the corner is two three two so two treble three chain then three chain one two three and another two treble oh I've gone into the stitch and then down this side again so it's clearer here there's uh, into this stitch, miss the middle one, and into the second. So at the end of that round, we're going to join, do one chain, and then join with a half treble to the top of the first standing chain, like that. And then we're going to do the same thing again. Um, do you see how that one chain gap gives us a little... Um, so we've got the corner spaces and we're going to have a space at the centre of each row which will make a line going across. So this is the same in the corners which is a 2-3-2. Two, two. So I'm going to do um, start off there. And then we're going to do three trebles and a one chain gap in the middle and then another three. So there's what three there, one, two. And again, it's slightly obscured that one. But we start off here, one, two, three, and then we're going to miss that central stitch and do a one chain gap, and then one, two, three, and the corners two, three, two again. So there you are, look, we've got this little line of um, gaps that's going to make the pattern. So keep going, uh, doing that same thing all the way around. So here we are at the beginning of the fourth round and this is gonna be pretty much the same. So um, I've done two uh, trebles into the first corner and then we do five stitches along here, five trebles uh, separated with a one chain space in the middle. So uh, here we go, one, two, three, four, five. So we start off here in this cornery um, stitch there, difficult to get through. And then we're going to do five trebles along the side. And then a one chain. And then another five and the corner again is two three two 
and you, know, you might spot my deliberate mistake down here. Um, I'd only done two trebles instead of three, but I won't tell anyone if you don't. Let's keep it quiet, nobody will notice. So I've just started on my fifth round and this row is very similar, but it's in half trebles. So you start off with a two chain for the um, standing chain and then seven stitches with a gap in the middle and then another seven. Now to get seven in the beginning I had to make the first stitch almost into the base of um, my standing chain. So there and then you do a one chain gap and into the next one here. So I think it's very clever design where we've got this little one chain gap um, running all the way through. Now the corners are going to be one half treble, two chain, one half treble. So it's one, two, one. Um, that's how I remember it. Yay, so there we are and I've finished and nobody will ever notice my little missing treble but I'm going to put that over the top of it. There you are, hidden. <laughs> See you next week.